welcome back on my channel today we're talking about the new makeup releases for this week and let me tell you we do have some good ones so if you want to see what's new in makeup then just keep on watching Also disclaimer, again, I'm filming this on Thursday, so normally I would film two days later, but uh, I'm traveling again. So we're doing this, and then if I miss any of the new products, I will include it in next week's video. Let's maybe start with the one I am super excited about. I do have, I think, at least two or so about that, but it is a new beauty branch, this time by Angelica Nyquist. And if you're following this channel like a little bit longer, you know I absolutely love this girl. Like she was uh, giving me the colorful awakening I am portraying on this channel. And I absolutely love it that she has created her own beauty brand. And this is Singe Beauty, if I'm not mistaken. And she is releasing brushes, which, hey, nice, love that. She's releasing a set of five brushes. These are the, let me see, a five piece brush set which will be uh, launching on the 25th of March and it will be retailing for $55, which is not a bad price. $11 per brush, not bad. Um, this, there are the E1 to E5, which, listen, you can definitely tell. There are some difference. It's all an eye brush set, which I don't, I don't have enough. Listen, I do. I do have enough. I absolutely love the handle. It is more of a yellow orangey uh, color. It is stunning. And I think it fits her aesthetic like 100%. I do think all of these are really, really nice brushes. So listen, I'm tempted. I'm more than tempted. Listen, I want to have these. But $55. But brushes. I do love brushes. I have the 50 million brushes. Do I really need brushes though? I probably need brushes. By the way, these are permanent. It's not a limited edition, which I love. Maybe I, I don't know. Should I buy these? Like guys, I absolutely love her. I definitely want to like support her and buy from her or anything like this. But maybe, maybe I shouldn't. Like I do have a lot of brushes, like a lot, a lot of brushes. <sighs> I'm not sure. I do want to, but I don't. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I won't. I, I'm not sure about this one. Let's talk about a possible like pass from me and this is the CC what is it? The Tipsy Dog Quads. Those are three new quads. They had like cat quads. Now they do have dog quads which is I think a good decision. The colors though it's quite neutral. The one is a little bit more pink. We do have also a zebra pattern in one of them. They do look damn cute, which Asian brands always do it right. Listen, they always do. So um, I do love the quads, like the uh, ex like the packaging. Will I buy any of these? No, because it's quite neutral. Also, if you want to like save some money, I do have an affiliate link in the info box down below where you can, um, you know, save a little bit of money. Again, it's affiliate link, so I will earn a little bit of a commission. But if you want to do, I will, I would be really glad. But if you don't want to, you don't have to, like, listen. But yeah, they are cute though. Again, the cat uh, quads were also really, really cute, but also quite neutral, which I totally understand. So yeah, this is a pass for me. We do have a new liquid lip by Tarte Cosmetics and that this one is the Maracuja Juicy Liquid Lip. We do have uh, um, bundles available for two for thirty four dollars and if you buy them in singles it's twenty four. I do think they do look really pretty. I uh, do have just like a lot of liquid lipsticks and uh, to be honest I should wear them more. I don't. So, listen, yeah, this is a pass for me, but there is a good selection, I feel like, on nudes and also a little bit more at tones. I think, of course, that they will expand on other colors probably if this is, uh, like, working good. I do think they are really, really pretty. Again, if I hadn't any, like, liquid lipstick, I would definitely 
have my own needs. I am a little bit excited about this one. Uh, this is the, the Super Good Player uh, Lip Shield SPF 30. And it is a reminder for you that lips also need an SPF, not just your face skin every day. And there are three different flavors. I think it's flavors or scents, if you will. Coconut, strawberry, and mint. They're $10 each, which I think is a good price. I mean, yes, drugstore is cheaper, but I mean, listen, whatever. Uh, we do have Supergroup now at Sephora in Germany, which I am excited about because I want to try one of their uh, sunscreens. So, yeah, I am excited about this one. Um, they have the SPF of 30, which is the minimum you should go for. I would have preferred a 50, but I'm just like, I I'm quite pale. So, I mean, they are also, of course... Uh, are good for uh, dry, cracked or dehydrated lips to get them back in shape. They do have uh, coconut oil, sunflower, su sunflower seed oil and avocado oil. And yeah, I am excited about this. Let's go a little bit to drugstore news. Uh, we do have a new product or limited edition, depending, uh, but from Essence Cosmetics. This one is the Ready for Ride Eyeshadow Palette. Uh, you can definitely tell it's a little bit more colorful, which I absolutely love. It's $9.99. It has matte and shimmered, and it should be available now. I didn't see it though, because listen, I, I like not every drugstore is like, you know the drill. But this one is pretty and it has colors. It's like greenish, purpley, a little bit of, um, yeah, pinkies. I will see if I uh, can pick it up or if I do like it. Let me tell you. I will see if I see it in stores, if I would pick it up or not. To be honest, I would be interested. It is also nice packaging. I will see. When I see it in person and the color story is right, the pigmentation is right, I will maybe pick it up. What do you think? There is a hint of a new Nomad palette, which you know I do like Nomad a lot. You can definitely see three shades um, for the upcoming palette. Uh, there will be a reveal um, on the 25th in two days. So it will be out if you see the video. I don't know if I can like bring in another picture, probably not. So we will talk about it next week uh, when I have the whole palette. Uh, but yeah, it will be um, revealed on the 25th of March and then there will be a launch on the 28th. The palette, like the three shades we do see are quite nice. It's a purple, a gold and a blue, which seems to switch to pink or purple um so that is quite promising i definitely have to see the whole palette so we'll see about this fenty beauty is giving us a new mascara this one is the hella thick volumizing mascara it is a beautiful packaging i don't see to be honest uh inside but like if it's a thick brush if it's a really thin brush we will see about that it has an ultra pack long Ultra Black Long Wear Formula, Extreme Volume, uh, Dramatic Lash Effect, Sweat, Humidity and Transfer Resistant. It's a tapered brush with full body formula to coat, curl and lift the lashes for 19 bucks. I have to say I never tried a Fenty uh, mascara before, so I don't know if they have a good formula or not. 19 bucks is a good medium uh, price range, I would say. Normally, I don't go for like more expensive mascaras because listen, if I wear lashes, I wear lashes. So then I don't need like a really expensive mascara underneath. So probably a skip, but uh, I would be intrigued a little bit, to be honest. Listen, this was a surprise for me because normally you can like see because of the packaging that it is benefit like from two miles away but like you can't see that normally but this packaging was a surprise because i couldn't tell this is benefit but it is and this is the new brow powder this is the goof proof brow powder it's an easy brow filling power by benefit and we do have 10 shades i do think it's a good one it's also not one of those split pens 
to be honest, I do enjoy that because uh, I do have at the moment like uh, the brow part of my glam shop and this is a spit pen. But the point is like, if you just use one color because it's the perfect shade and then you maybe use another like product to fill in like maybe some hairs in the beginning, you don't need one side of the powder. I did already do that with the Catrice one because the uh, they also was not a split pen but uh, like a split packaging and I just used up one of them and not the other one. So I don't think this is a bad release, 10 shades, really nice. Um, this is of course a little bit more expensive because it is benefit. Again, I do have a brow powder. I do love brow powders. So for me, this would definitely be on my wish list. So yeah, tell me how do you do you use brow powders in your eyebrows or do you use another product? Let's talk about our weekly Colourpop section. And listen, it is a new Avatar collection. And this is the uh, Legend of Korra collection. And we do have an eyeshadow palette, chrome liquid shadows, French kiss lip creams, graphic ink liners, as well as one super shock highlighter. Uh, let me talk about everything in particular. The eyeshadow palette looks stunning. And I do have to say, I do like this one better than the first collaboration with Avatar. I do think the colors are a little bit, this is a little bit more colorful, isn't it? Is it just me? I don't know, but I do love this one more. For me particular, there is just one uh, Avatar and it's the first uh, series. I didn't watch this Legend of Korra, to be honest. Uh, the liquid eyeliners is a blue and a black or brownish. Let me see, is it a deeper shade? Um, we do have the liquid eyeshadows, which I'm not 100% sure if it's dual chrome or multi-chrome. It could be both. To be honest, they do look really pretty. And we do have lip products, again, a more... Um, deeper red as well as a nudie tone beautiful by the way and then we do have the highlighter which is stunning by the way a little bit too deep for me though so this is a this is a maybe again i did i do like it more than the first avatar palette way more so it's it's a maybe it's a big maybe this will not come as a surprise. I do absolutely love Asian makeup and I do love Peri Para, which I feel like I have like 15 million products, maybe more. And there is a new product from Peri Para and this is the Ink Mood Glowy Balm. I do have the Ink Mood Glowy Tint. If I'm not mistaken, in three shades. Listen, I do have a problem. Uh, it's four shades. It is uh, a more lipstick balm thing. And we do have a tinted balm, of course. It's uh, lightweight, non sticky, non greasy. It lights on lips smoothly and it has a glowy pout. Listen, I do absolutely love it. When I order it, probably listen, we don't. We, yeah. Definitely. I do love Coral Bunch, which is a more nudie browner shade. I definitely think like I do love the uh, lip tints from them. Again, I do have three shades, which we all know is a shame for me because I do have 15 million lip products, but I do love Peri Para and I do love uh, like a balm that is tinted. Yeah, it's probably a yes on this one. We do have some new lip products by Jill Stewart, which I am not familiar with. And this is a um, limited edition. Um, there are some lip balms as well. And I think some 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 clones or perfumes. Um, Tease lipstick will launch in different months inspired by a bouquet of birth flowers in full bloom. So we do have different shades, at least 12 if I'm not mistaken. Yes, 12 shades for each month. So each month there will be another shade that will launch. Um, these don't have a lot of color, so uh, color payoff. So they are just pretty, to be honest. They, they are really, really pretty. Will I buy any of these? No, I won't. Um, they are pretty though. 
We also have a new product by Shiseido and this one is the Seven Lights Powder Eliminators. We do have this beautiful compact and then we do have seven different colors in the compact that can be twirled together, used as a bronzer, blush, all over powder. You know, you can um, focus more on maybe the pink or the... Uh, you can focus more on the pink or on the brown to use as a bronzer or a blush or an illuminator. So you can definitely bring in your perfect color for you. Normally this is not working for me because I am not that fine motoric in any shape, way or form. But um, yeah, it will be coming to the as soon. It's a skip for me because listen, I, I can't. It does look pretty though. Sad news on the way is also Colliders is um, discontinuing their six pen palettes. So if you wanted to have any of these, still you can buy these. There is a sale at the moment, but they will discontinue these palettes. I do hope that they will bring us new palettes in the future. I think the last release and the release before that were uh, lip products and then face products, which I do definitely want to try the face trios. In the, two, in the future, but again, I wish that there would be a, a, a fun eyeshadow palette in the future coming to us. I would definitely love that and I will buy that 100%. But yeah, the Futurism palettes itself will be discontinued. I don't know what it is about this one though that I'm like, yeah, no, it's uh, Mentos and uh, Root Cosmetics. I didn't try Root so far, but I we can definitely buy it in Germany. And there are some, uh, there's a neon palette, a pastel palette, there are some highlighters, lip crayons, brushes or brush sets, powder puffs and a travel bag. Listen, I do like a good Mentos, but it's nothing like in particular that I'm like, yeah, guys, give it to me. You know, it's a rainbow palette. It's a muted rainbow palette. I do like the puffs, which I mean, I don't need that for. Um, so yeah, this is a this is a skip for me though. Listen, I was so excited about this one, and then it turned into something totally different. This one is the Shiseido and Fida Kahlo collaboration, or well, it's a yeah She Glam and Fida Kahlo collaboration, and there is the um, eyeshadow palette. There are some cream blushers. There is a liquid brow, uh, liquid brow pencil, such as one, and then there are also lip tints in this various shades. This is looking stunning. The problem, also, by the way, this is not a picture of Frida Kahlo on the outside. It is on imprinted on the palette. The only, and that is the worst part of it, the only problem is the Frida Kahlo portrait is not permanent. This is just an overspray, which it hurts. And the, the worst part, listen, the worst part of being an overspray is that the palette and the colors underneath are neutrals. Listen, what the fluff? Uh, by the way, the brow products and the other like face products do look really, really nice. I just, I am furious about the beautiful picture of Frida Kahlo and then colorful picture of Frida Kahlo and then giving us a neutral palette. A neutral palette. Why can't we get a colorful palette? There is red, there is blue, there is yellow. I would love to have the Frida Kahlo palette with a really fun and bright colors. Maybe let's be an overspray. Listen, I don't care, but give us a fun and colorful palette and to have then like this basic as neutral palette underneath this beautiful overspray is just a abomination. It is, it's so bad. The other products all look cute and I wish again, if Listen, I would have bought two if uh, the, the palette underneath would be a colorful one. You know, one to display and one to really use. But this is just, yeah, it's a pass for me. We do have a new palette by Artitude Cosmetics, which is an 
UK brand and this one is looking so damn cute. I am definitely like want to try this. This one is the Man Eater palette if I'm not mistaken. It does look really really pretty. It is colorful but also you can use neutrals. I do have to say I do love that because I don't have the time always in the morning to look like this but I do love it to, to display and have fun. And this one is looking gorgeous. It has a lot of green tones and I absolutely love this one. And I know the quality will be perfectly. So um, by the way, I also forgot there is a brush set from Artitude and a sponge as well. This is a, a probably, like I definitely want to try it because it does look so damn pretty. Uh, Makeup by Mario is giving us also new lip products because that's, that's new. And these ones are the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Colors. They are $24 each. And this is a highly pigmented lip gloss, if you will. A highly pigmented color without any stickiness. Um, it is a highly pigmented lip gloss in 13 shades. Uh, the shades do look really pretty. Do I really need that? No. No, I don't. And uh, it does look pretty. I do want to uh, own one of his like balms, colored balms, which I mean, he released in the last month, but so far I didn't. So um, yeah, this is cool, but it's a no for me. And SpongeBob brushes giving us another round of Disney collaborations. This time we do have a brush sets in different uh, optics, just, I think it's always the same brush set, but you can choose between different Disney characters. We do have Simba, Dumbo, Thumper and uh, Stitch. Uh, it is a six piece giftable brush set for $33. We do have mini brushes for foundation, cheeks, eye and brow. Do have to say, I think this is a really cute like gift idea, like they say. Uh, for me, though, I don't have anybody that I would gift $33 of brushes, because listen, brushes enough, but uh, I think it's pretty. The colors on the brushes do look pretty, but it's a pass for me. I do have enough, and if I want to add like cinch brushes, and again, I don't have anyone to gift brushes, at least not this kind of brushes, so yeah, it's a skip for me. And the last release for this week is the new City Color Chrome Liquid Eye Shadows. And these are City Color Cosmetics Liquid Dual Chromes. And they are four shades, $8 each, which is really affordable, to be honest. And you can have all of them for 25 bucks. They do look really pretty. Do I really need another dual chrome liquid eyeshadow? No, I don't. But they are pretty. And if you're on a budget, I think this will be great. Also, I do have to say that um, they are great if you do a liquid eyeliner or eyeliner in particular because, I mean, they are liquid. You don't have to mix them. That's amazing. These were all the new makeup releases for this week. I hope you had a lot of fun. Which of the products is interesting you the most? Again, I do have some favorites here. I think this week week is better than last week's uh, combined. Do we really need brushes though? In my opinion, yes. But probably no. Listen, I do have 15 millions. But I mean, you can't have enough brushes. You know what I mean? What do you think about brush idea? Tell me down in the comments below. I wish you a beautiful week and we see us in my next video. Bye!